Yo, what's going on and welcome back to some Duel Links as we try to finish up KC Cup Duel level 20. Um, we might go a little bit longer because I think we're only going to be like one or two extra duels from actually making it. Hopefully we can just make it quickly. If we don't, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do because this is like the last day. I don't really care about getting a high rank. I just want to get like the 100 gems or whatever you get for making it to duel level 20. We'll figure it out. Hopefully it's just easy and we don't have to worry about it. But our first deck is Odeon and we have a bad hand. So we'll have to figure it out I suppose. I do not like playing against Odeons because they're probably running Endless Trap Hell. Or Chain Reaction. Both very annoying skills to have to deal with. Alright, he places three back row as expected. Okay, well, we drew a good card. Let's do it, I suppose. What's he got? So he's got something that can activate on just one card. Probably enemy... No, probably not enemy controller. Maybe Floodgate? Canadia? Well, mmm, mmm, it is chain reaction. Alright, so at least we get our spectral sword onto the field. But we can't really do anything with it. So we're gonna go ahead and start placing our own back row, because we got some pretty powerful back row. We could have maybe gone in for a, an attack with a uh, Spectral Sword. So we're definitely going to want a Ballista Squad here. We should... Should we Ballista Squad off the Spectral Sword? No, probably not. Let's Ballista Squad off the Shiranui Squire. And we'll get rid of his new card. It was Draining Mirror Force. So, we should summon the Spirit Master here. And then... We can summon the Squire again. So that way we'll almost guaranteed get a synchro off. Oh! That's... I thought I was pressing next to it, but okay. Guess that's how it's gonna be. Um, if we do this... It will banish the Squire, which should let us draw. Hmm, I don't think we want Void Trap Hole. I don't think that's going to do anything for us. Now the Mirror Wall being face up is a little bit annoying. <clears throat> Defense draw. Make the battle damage, you take zero. That is a stupid card. I dislike that. We're just not gonna pay for the wall, obviously. <clears throat> Didn't mean to do that. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, now, now we can synchro. Hopefully, he doesn't have a lava golem. Um, why did Spirit Master's effect not go off? Oh, it's face-up card. I see, I see. 
Well, let's go for it, I suppose. Oh my goodness. This is a dude, huh? What a player. Oh my god. If he has a lava golem... Do we keep the lava golem or do we like floodgate trap hole it? Oh my gosh. He's got a lava golem. Just shouldn't have summoned something else, I guess. Should I just void trap hole this lava golem? Yeah, probably. Get that out of here. So, what now? Well, if we can manage to summon another Sun Saga, maybe we got something here. Do we really have to play the world's stalliest loser for our first match? I just wanted to win quickly. We're going to go in with our Spectral Sword here. Canadia. Alright, well. Guess it's face down now. Alright, we got another solitaire. Let's start by trying to flip this face up. He's got nothing that he can activate in response to that. So, do we activate level duplication? Unfortunately, we can't actually win this turn. Even if we do level duplicate. So maybe we just don't bother level duplicating? Oh no, we kind of have to, because otherwise we won't have a synchro play next turn. <clears throat> Alright, and we'll activate this effect, return to... And then we'll destroy both of his back row. Now we know he has another kite ro or he still has kite roid in his graveyard. But now he's got significantly less cards. We really need to summon like another Sun Saga. Okay, let's hope if he doesn't have another Kite Roid in hand, I think we just won. Activate Solitaire's effect. Give me back Spectral Sword. Sure, might as well put him into attack. Is he, is he scooping? Did we actually do it? Did we actually defeat the cheesiest player? We want Scrap Dragon here because that way we can pop more cards every single turn because our floodgates just aren't going to be that valuable. We've done it. We defeated him. Take that, Odeon. We just have so many destruction effects. Even though he was constantly negating our damage and drawing cards, eventually we got ahead of the curve by destroying too many cards for him. 
was a well-deserved win. Unfortunately, it took us about 10 minutes. So that's a little bit unfortunate, but... All right, can we pull off the rank up here? We don't really have a fantastic combo. Drawing into a squire would definitely help the situation. That's not a squire, but Ballista Squad is good enough. Should we attack his card? I think probably not. That seems like a little bit too greedy. So then, in what order are we going to set stuff in? Void Trap Hole. Ballista Squad. We don't need both Void Trap Hole and Ballista, er, and Fiendish Chain at the same time. So, like this, we have a level 8, as long as he somehow doesn't banish our Spectral Sword before we contribute it off, which should be very difficult for him to do. Alright, he's got a little bit of back row, just a few back row cards. So if he ends his turn with one monster, uh, no, that's okay. Should we even bother using the Ballista Squad? I guess, yeah, we could pop one of the back row. Because we know we can lethal him over that white stone. So we go for the middle card here. Alright, and now do we just go for lethal? I feel like we do. So we can use that to summon... Is Archfiend Skull the better choice? Probably, yeah. And then... Activate Solitaire. Give me back Spectral Sword. He might have... No, he can't Treacherous us there. Like, he could have activated it, but it wouldn't have worked. Activate, banish that guy. And then I think we'll just save this play for next turn. Is this lethal? Enemy controller. He'll probably tribute, just so he gets his blue eyes, maybe? Okay, never mind. He did not tribute. I feel like we shouldn't have sent the Archfiend Skull. We should have instead sent the Samurai Saga. Um, should I just Fiendish Chain that? Probably, yeah. Just don't allow that at all. So now he's got two monsters face up that he doesn't really want face up. Wait, what do you do? You could target one 
Return it to the graveyard, sure. Oh, that makes it way easier. We drew Spear Karibo. We don't have any way to summon Samurai Saga, do we? Oh, we do, because we could just use this. Genius. And we just want to return one. Or do we want to return two? I mean, it's going to be lethal either way. Um, uh, just get rid of that, and then we'll go ahead and summon Squire. Squire's gonna activate. And then we'll Synchro again. Now, I, I'm thinking we should have just activated one because Blue Eyes does run uh, Kite Roid. But he didn't have a Kite Roid. Alright. So, yeah, I think we should have just activated one because if he did have Kite Roid, then we still are just sent one back to the extra deck. So, we pop the back row and then attack over his two attack position monsters. Because if he has Kite Roid. And he's able to stop that. But if we don't destroy one of his monsters, then we can lethal him over them and he can't actually activate the Kyroid. So it's probably smarter to just activate one. Alright. We're doing it. It's taking some time. These people are not playing that quickly. Mostly Odeon. Okay, we got a Yami Merrick. Probably playing Shadow Game. Stall deck, unfortunately. That's just how it goes. Okay, I am going first. So I think I just saw a tear. Get me my spectral sword. And we'll put down void trap hole. Then we'll end our turn. So that means next turn we could very easily make probably two Samurai, or we could make a Shogun Saga and a Samurai Saga next turn. Or we could make two Samurai Sagas. Is he not going to synchro this turn? Okay, can we win? So if we activate this effect, and we'll go for our Shogun Saga first. Dried Winds. Hmm. That makes me want to summon this guy instead. That way my zombie monsters can't be destroyed. Flip all face down. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Oh, can he negate uh, Zombie Skull's effect now? With this? We're playing all the stall decks today, huh? Alright, so how do we want to do this? So he can't gain life points anymore this turn. I think he messed up. So we just go Shogun Saga. Activate. Uh, sure, send that guy. He has a second effect on this, huh? If you're 3,000 life points higher. Darn. Alright, well we gotta make our second play then, which... It's not gonna be lethal. But we'll be able to do quite a bit of damage to him. And we'll get rid of all of his back row cards. We'll activate this. Bring back both of those. Yep. So we'll get rid of both of these things so he won't be able to gain life and do stuff anymore. And we'll set Karma Cut. And we'll go to battle against this thing. Could we have lethaled? We could have lethaled if we just blew up both monsters, huh? Misplay. Not entirely true. He could have had an Angelica in his hand. Which would have prevented the lethal. Do I activate Karma Cut here? Targets one face up. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and activate this effect. Hopefully we can get lethal here. Nope, don't want to activate that. Um, yeah, just give me Skull again. Might as well bring this guy back onto the field. We'll put him in attack, because it's very likely that he might be able to get us lethal. Why didn't I get to activate this? That's odd. Hey, he was actually enough for lethal. I'm not exactly sure why I didn't get to activate my Void Trap Hole. I don't know, maybe, maybe that Arrow Mage says something special that I don't have the patience to go read. Because it says 2,000 or more, it doesn't just say more than 2,000. Alright. It's definitely going to take us more time than I had hoped for. We're facing all the stall decks at the moment. 
Yubel is probably also a stall deck, unfortunately. So what do we got here? We could just go for a Synchro play, which I think is the best bet. Unfortunately, both of the Spectral Swords are in our hand. I don't think we want to level log at all. I think we just go the normal guy. Then we'll put a void trap hole behind him. And we'll have another synchro plane next turn that we can make. We could either go for level 10 if we want. Or we could go for level 8. Or we could just make another level 6. Hmm. I feel like we just go for lethal here. So if we make the level 6 and then level log for the level 10. Unless he's got Kiteroid, it should be lethal. Yeah, sure. Gives us a Solitaire. We could put that in the graveyard. Then we're gonna level Og. This guy with this. Summon the Spectral Sword. Go for Sun Saga. And this way we can return one of our Synchros. And then pop his card. We'll put our Floodgate down. Since it wasn't destroyed by battle, this should just be lethal. Boom! So it was Gravekeeper's, Gravekeeper's stall deck, but he was relying on getting the summon from his thing being destroyed. However, it only appears to work if it's destroyed by battle. So we pop it with our card effect instead. Easy stuff. All right, let's go. We are playing against dual level 18 rookie player, huh? That's kind of interesting. I wonder if this is just like a new account. <coughs> it's playing ultimate dragons. Wow. We have the same hand as last time pretty much, except last time we had a void trap hole. It's arrow mages. Well, there's the Void Trap Hole. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing then? This is kind of unfortunate. Do we just make the same play as last time? I think we do. We got enough protection. He's got a card that can activate, so it's probably, yeah, either Dried Winds, Blessed Winds, or Humid Winds. All those wind cards. But he's got no way to gain life this turn. Or wait, does this gain life? You control is destroyed by battle or card effect, you gain a thousand life points. It does gain life. So our thing is going to die then. But I think it's for the best. We'll put both of these down.
And then we got the, we got the follow up plays. That's our benefit here. <clears throat> we got good back row, and he's only got one card to make a play with. Well, two cards because he gets to draw. Probably don't floodgate that because he's just going to get his second summon anyways. What else does this thing do? Okay, so he set a back row. Should we get rid of one of the back row before we go in for our play? And which one? Hmm. If we get rid of... It's a tough one. Because we could get rid of the face down. But we kind of need to get rid of the field spell, I think. I think we need to get rid of the field spell. So he can activate his card now, which tells me it's not... It's either like Blessed Winds or one of those cards. And I think we just go for the Shogun Saga here. Banish that, get us to draw another card. Yeah, we'll also get the minus attack here. Yep. Let's see what we can draw. Void trap hole, we don't really need that. So I think we can safely get rid of it. And then I feel like instead we just pop all of his back row right here. I think that's the play. We get popping on the back row. Then we can summon another Sun Saga next turn. Bring back both of these. Destroy some cards. This deck seems really good against arrow mages because of all the back row popping. And now we're in a really good spot. He's got one card to make a play with. He's got none of his traps and stuff because the new arrow mages rely heavily on using those reusable trap cards. And there it is. All right, so we should be 19 now. Now the question is, can we get to 20? Now we're already at normal time. But we're going to keep going. Might be doubly long. We'll see. Oh boy. This deck is powerful. It almost just feels unfair against some of these people. The Sun Saga is just such a powerhouse with its ability to just destroy a whole bunch of things. So we got, we'll probably just make the same play. It's a pretty decent first turn play if we have back row. Make sure we pick the one from the deck because we have one in our hand already. This is just such a good play for having follow up next turn. I think Spectral Sword is stupid. I don't think he's a fair card. 
Not to mention, it's not even a synchro summon, it's a special summon, so he gets to summon things like uh, Hades and a uh, Zombie Skull, which he shouldn't be able to summon. <laughs> but that's how it goes, I suppose. So we got no Ballista Squad. Okay, now we have Ballista Squad. Do we want to go for Zombie Skull first? I think Zombie Skull first is a good play. Now the question is, do I want to go for lethal, or do I want to play it safe? Well, let's see what we draw here. Hmm. Void trap hole. We don't need the void trap hole. That's unfortunate. now I can't get lethal. But I should still probably summon the Sun Saga. And we can always tribute off the face down uh, zombie skull with our Ballista Squad, so we're still fine. And then we'll be able to make a Shogun Saga next turn with what we have in the grave. Or actually, no, we won't because I'm bringing this back. But that's okay. I really want to destroy this card by effect and not by battle. So I'm feeling like this should be lethal next turn because the Ballista Squad. I don't see anything that he can actually do with our back row. <clears throat> Any back row cards that he puts, I'll probably Ballista Squad them. He didn't actually go offensive. I think smart play is we just Ballista Squad his back row. Because we can destroy his monster with uh, one of our monsters, because we're going to have two monsters. Summon the Shogun Saga. And that should be game. There we go. Nice and easy. Alright. We probably just need like two more duels. Can we pull it off? Who knows? Although I've run out of water in my glass. Luckily I have a water bottle. Ah. Taya Gardener. What the heck kind of a deck does Taya play? Is this like that fairy smile deck? Oh no, she's probably playing Arrow Mages. <laughs> Get out of here, Taya! Life boost indicates to me that it's probably Arrow Mages, although she only has two cards in her extra deck, which is kind of odd. Do we go the safe normal play? Or do we go Sun Saga immediately? Hmm. That's a tough one, actually. Because we can go Sun Saga. I think we just go the normal play. Because then we don't feel so bad about tributing it off. We obviously don't want to tribute off a Sun Saga with our Ballista Squad. And then we don't reveal what our last card in our hand is. So what's the deck? Oh my gosh, so much back row. It's got to be Arrow Mages. <laughs> I could just Ballista Squad right now, but that seems like a mistake, probably. We'll probably just Floodgate, unless it's a Jasmine. 
Although it seems like arrow mages always have Jasmine in their opening hand, but this one seems to not, otherwise they probably would have played it immediately. Alright, never mind. What do I know anyways? So now they're probably gonna gain life. Or not. Uh, we could just floodgate that immediately. Now do we want a Ballista Squad here? I think so. If we Ballista Squad uh, the, the field spell, then I think he's not going to be able to activate a lot of his trap cards and stuff. So we can summon level 6 right here. And then... Ooh, how would we get... Oh, we can get level 10. But we don't need to do that one first. Let's go... Do we need to do that one first? I'm trying to think. I don't think so. So let's get our second... Synchro going. And we'll level Og here. That'll let us summon Sun Saga. And we'll pop one of the back row. And we're gonna want to synchro so that way we can drop Squire and then Squire will allow us to discard um, Solitaire. I mean, we know his other thing is probably like Blessed Winds or Humid Winds. <clears throat> do I want to do this? Probably. Because we already have uh, Sun Saga, so we don't really need a uh, Zombie Skull at the moment. Drop the Solitaire. Place the Fiendish Chain. We're gonna get some good damage in here. Blessed Winds. It's got a special song from the graveyard. All right. Well, that's gonna get annoying. We don't have a good way to pop that, so we're just going to try and grind through it. Uh, yeah, we're just going to Fiendish Chain that immediately so you can't do anything, and that should be the game. Alrighty. Scoops it up. Lots of Arrow Mages today. Also, lots of people playing Arrow Mages in a way that you don't really see. Like, every every Arrow Mage we've seen has had Dried Winds. No one uses Dried Winds, so that's very odd. <laughs> like, Dried Winds seems okay, and it's done a few things, but obviously it hasn't won them the duels against us, so... Whatever. Just people, people seem to value the searching you get from Blessed Winds and Humid Winds more than dry, than the destruction effect from Dried Winds. Like what Arrow Mages does well is it negates all of your effects, it grinds you down and stalls you. Okay, I don't know what happened there. But Dried Winds is really aggressive, like it's trying to get lethal, trying to pop cards. So it's kind of counterintuitive to what 
Arrow Mages actually does well. Another Taya. Might be the exact same deck. It is a different person, though. And this is not our rank up, unfortunately. Holy Guard. So that's the one where... I don't remember what you do. Take no battle damage during your turn. Right. So do we go Squire immediately or Solitaire? That's a tough one. I think we go Squire. Because I have no way... Oh, don't do the one from hand. I have no way to get uh, the... Hmm, what do we do here? We could go level 8. No, we just want level 6. is fine. We don't have great defense, but we have one defensive card. It's going to be very unlikely that he can lethal, up, lethal us over it. Even if this was a Luna Lights, they can't actually lethal unless they could get rid of the back row. But yeah, this way, when we banish the Squire, we can put the Solitaire in the graveyard when we get our free draw. Should maybe turn this off for a second. We'll activate it once he attacks us. What is that? Iron Hans? Okay, so now we're just waiting for him to attack. He can't really play any other cards. He could set a card. You can't normal summon or special summon anymore after red eyes. Um, I suppose we'll allow that to happen first. Damage step will activate this. And what does it say? Just when he's summoned. Special summon one Iron Knight. So I'm not going to pay for that wall, though. And now, what do we want to do? We probably want to go... We need a Synchro in the Graveyard. So if we do this, activate the Squire, use that to drop Solitaire. Now how the heck do we want to do this part? We could level log, go for 10. Yeah, that's the answer. And that way we could pop his back row. Should be lethal. We'll see if he's got anything in his hand. Looks like he's got nothing, so that's lethal. Alright, we're getting there. Might just be one more duel. New country, Algeria. Fascinating. All right. Will this be it? Will this be dual level 20? Let's get a drink. We're ready. We got a legend player, probably playing fortune ladies. It's not the final duel though. What happened? So we'll go with our normal play then. Summon this guy. 
We definitely, I noticed when we started playing this deck, we summoned a lot more uh, Sun Saga turn one. And this is the exact same hand that would summon a Sun Saga turn one. But we've instead adapted to summoning this guy turn one, which I think is better because then we don't waste our Sun Sagas so quickly. Oh, he's also playing the same deck. Um, we should probably just Fiendish Chain him, though. That way we don't have to deal with the Synchro. And that might just be the game right there. Unless he's got some strong back row. He doesn't have any back row. And I'm pretty sure this deck can't play Kiteroid, so that should be it. Now, I don't really want to drop... Uh, no, thank you. I don't really want to drop Solitaire here. Because we don't have Lethal. Unless I use Solitaire to Synchro again. No, stop. I don't want your stinking effect. And then we can get us a nice Shogun Saga. And we could probably just lethal straight over his Spirit Master here. Without even having to worry about like a Kite Roid or something. Oh, there it is. He scoops. That was going to be 4,500 damage. He must have had a kite right in his hand, because he stayed till the last second until he realized that we could kill him with uh, through kite right. Okay, will this be it? Is this the final duel that we've all dreamed of? Well, mostly that I've dreamed of. I don't know if anyone else is out there rooting for me, but... It's a Shizu. That's bad. Because a Shizu who likes to run no mortal can resist. Could cause some problems. But we got our turn one play. Plus, actually, we have Cosmic Cyclone. Which is good, because if she activates a Cosmic Cyclone of her own then we can keep our life low so she can't activate no mortal can resist. Now, we're gonna set everything. We're almost certainly gonna activate Cosmic Cyclone here. Necro Valley. We'll wait. We can wait. We don't have to do anything right away. Although we gave away that we have a Cosmic Cyclone. That's how it goes sometimes. So he's activating. So I, does this negate? I think this negates her effect. Because then Necro Valley's not on the field for her to use her effect. Does it not work that way? It apparently does not work that way. Alright, well we're just going to activate this then. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> He's got another Necro Valley! We got a Squire, though. How? So we can't do that, unfortunately. But we could just summon Squire, summon all of our things. And it's still lethal unless he's got like a Kite Roid.
This is a stupid play, isn't it? I think this was the wrong play. We should have waited till we could make a... He's got nothing, though. Is that it? Have we done it? That was dumb. I think we should have just tried to go for lethal and waited to be able to make a Sun Saga so we could get rid of another Necro Valley. But I think we've done it. We did it! Dual level max. Shiranui's went undefeated since we started playing them. When, when did we start? Dual level 14, we started playing Shiranui's. We didn't lose a single game since then. This deck is bonkers. Like, what do you do? We just have answers to everything. What? Yeah, sure, whatever. That's fine. I just wanted to look at our- look at- we got whatever this is. That was just a failed match. That doesn't really count. We didn't lose a single match. There's even more. How many did we win? It was like, we won four the first day, four the second day, and then... Where did we end? I'm pretty sure we versed this person- we versed two people. One person under this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We won 18 duels in a row with this deck. That's insane. But that's gonna do it for this one. You saw the power of Shiranui. We learned how to play it pretty well by the end to the point where people weren't even getting close anymore. But that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you liked the Shiranui's. Maybe it taught you a little bit. Like, Ballista Squad's great. I wish I had more of them, but you could just run whatever the heck back row you have and be just as effective. Either way, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.